So today we're doing part of a, a project that, that has been ongoing for a little while now, and we're trying to assess the, the populations of, of bats in Iowa. So here in the, in the Midwest, all of our bats are, are insect eaters. Um, and so um, we have nine different species that live here in Iowa. So they kind of divide up the insects and feed on different sets of insects. Um, there's a number of species of bats whose numbers are declining. And so we're trying to get a sense for um, whether their populations are up or down. Um, and so essentially what we're doing is we're going back to places where um, during the course of the last 20 years or so um, where I have netted in the past um, and now we're going back to the same places and we're trying to we're putting up our nets in exactly the same way and on the same calendar date um, and our goal is now to see um, what bats do we catch now are we catching more of certain species are we catching less of certain species. So the, the net has these stronger lines across it, what are called the trammel lines. Um, and then it has excess net in between the two trammel lines. So when the bat hits the net, um, its weight causes it to fall down and create a bag like that. So that bag is where the, where the bats basically get tangled. But yeah, the, the real challenges are, and you can kind of see she's dealing with it right now, the, the, the net gets stuck on, their, on their, their wrist and their thumb where it sticks up. Yeah, sometimes the, they just get in in a particular way where it's hard to get them out any other way. So we'll make a snip right there. So there we go. Snip him, but not the, or snip the net, but not him. Okay, so then once I've made that snip, now I just pull tail out, and now you're just ready to go. Yeah, so the, the nets are not intended to, to hurt bats. Um, on super rare instances, bats will get tangled in such a way that it damages wings, but that's, you know, that's literally one out of every 2,000 bats gets hurt. I mean, the other, the other ones do just fine. The three species that we're targeting tonight um, are, are declining. Our preliminary numbers um, looks like um, they've declined by somewhere between 85 to 95 percent in just the last five years. So that's a, an absolutely stunning collapse in, in bat populations. Um, and the, the primary driver is this thing that's called white nose syndrome. Um, so it's a fungus um, that lived in Europe. It was accidentally brought here. Um, we think it was brought here by folks who explore caves. Um, it, the fungus lives in caves and it, and it infects the bats um, causes their skin to itch um, and that wakes them up many times throughout hibernation um, and they essentially burn off all their energy before the end of hibernation and die um, and so so yeah we've just seen incredible collapses um, unfortunately this fungus is just one example that's what's referred to as an invasive species when when humans um, either intentionally or accidentally bring something to a new area um, and then that that something now in this case a fungus causes enormous problems for for uh, native species so this is a classic example of that it has surprised me kind of the the mental aspect of of this work um, you know i've been been working on bats for for a long time now and you don't really realize how much you've grown attached to them um, and so to to go out to places where you've caught lots of them before and then to not catch them you know that 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 wears on you and it, and it hurts <laughs> 